Hey guys and welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome to Joe's channel. I'm getting set up in my own place now and I'm back to vaping again temporarily until I get settled with all this COVID crap, get comfortable in my new place and all that. But my hair is looking a little bit dull. If you saw the last video, then you know. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, I have another mirror set up over here, so I put you up here a little bit easier. See if you can see me better this way. I'm going to be cutting my hair, cutting, trimming up my hair, trimming up split ends that I've been like avoiding, and I have my big mirror up here too, so I keep looking at that. <coughs> but I put it at this angle so you can see me when I'm cutting my hair. Hmm. I'm a dweeb, please forgive me. But um, I've neglected my hair for the past two months. It's needed a trim. It doesn't look that bad right now because I haven't really done much, but put a bunch of conditioning masks in my hair and in the last video I actually forgot to mention. I used to use the uh, Kaleidoscope Miracle Oil in my roots after every shower uh, just to help enhance my roots to grow, supplying those extra nutrients that I don't give my hair from conditioning. Because usually when I shampoo my hair, I don't put conditioner in the roots. I usually just put it from my mid length, so all the way down here to my ends. Um, I never try and touch my scalp because I found that I can get pores or follicles technically since it's growing from your head. <clears throat> I can get clogged follicles generally pretty quickly if I put conditioner in my roots. So what I like to do is follow up with this meal rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. It's this little special bottle here that I got all over my hands. Sorry if it doesn't really come up. But usually I'll use that all massaging in my scalp just like the other one for about 10 seconds. And even without taking supplements or using um, formulated shampoo and conditioner for uh, growing hair, I found that it's helped me a lot because like, look at these roots. Like, I just washed my hair two days ago and yes, I have been sweating nonstop. Um, that's why I'm trying to cut my hair right now so that I can take another shower again tonight and moisturize my dead hair. But first, it needs a good trim up. So, I figured I'd take you along with me. And I'll take you guys along. It's been a long day at work, a long few weeks. And I'm on my third week streak, I want to say, where I've had one day off a week. This week, I'm not going to have any days off. Next week, I may or may not have a day or two off. We'll have to see how the schedule goes, but it's a different story. I'm going to section my hair, and I'll come right back to you guys. So usually what I like to do when I section my hair, or when I trim my hair and I'm not cutting it, bleh, 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 is just take it section by section from the top until I get to the top and then I move along what's usually my part line to keep my hair trained that way especially when I wear my hair up almost 24 7 because of the job and then I just take it legit section by section hopefully you can see that and then what I like to do is take like a ponytail or something to keep this out of the way. That's how I actually do my hair. I'll take like a ponytail just to keep this from blending in with my other hair. So that way I have a nice kind of even section. I can legit just take like this and then go in and trim it. Now. I'm standing over my sink and I have my big mirror and my little mirror, which is right here. It's going to be difficult to do because the wall's right there, but I'm going to make do with it. And actually what I'm going to do is start off with a smaller section. I'm going to find my clips for right now. Put this back into the ponytail. Just like this, and you can kind of see my ends are fried and frizzy right now on that side. I'll 
comb my hair out so that way it's pretty much straight and then I'll just go in for the ends. And I like to be really close to the mirror so that way I can actually see what I'm doing. You guys can't really see it but taking off the ends just cutting straight across. Now normally what you would want to do is trim up and in when I cut straight across because I don't mind the blunt look. Again, I'm still growing out my hair, so it's the other reason why my hair's up 24-7, because I don't feel like styling it, because I know it would take a lot longer. There you go, you guys can see it better now. This is legit what I just do, and I follow along the line. So that section is now done. Now, what I do, is I'll grab the other section, just like that. Try and keep it as straight as possible, but for me, I don't care if it's particularly straight. I feel like in the videos that we all do, talking about our hair, it takes us twice if not thrice as long, and yes, I did say thrice. And again, I will take part of this section, right up here, comb this, Try not to get any hair section away at the top. Come front and back to make sure that it's all together because my OCD does that. Get really close to the mirror again. See where my dead ends are and legit just go in and bam. My dead ends are trimmed. And I only cut off about maybe a centimeter to an inch, somewhere in between, because it does help with all um, that jazz. <clears throat> now I'll grab one of my butterfly clips. Try and straighten this as best as possible. And go in with the next section. Now I know that doing this method my hair isn't all going to be even, but since I usually wear my hair up anyway, that doesn't matter to me as long as these split ends are gone. I'm going to get my hair professionally cut when my hair is grown out to the length that I actually want it to be. After I just kiss me comb keeps knocking into my finger, or my comb, my scissors, keep knocking into my finger. I want to try and get it as even as possible if I can. As you can see, I'm not taking much, but because my hair is so thick, we'll see the aftermath. When I'm finished, I'll show you how much hair I actually end up with all over the floor. It looks like a lot more than it actually is because, again, my hair is super duper thick. I found this method works better than just taking the shears and then trimming down at the bottom because then your hair has more even stuff. And then at the end, because it's pretty much all okay. I take it to where it ends and then just trim up the last little bits. Now generally if you wear your hair straight you want it completely straight but I've just been doing this for a long time and I've found a decent guide. And I know my hair but again I will eventually get it done professionally. I just I find that this works for me. My white broad motto says keep on rocking. Well, that's what I say. He says, live your extra life. Brad is my favorite YouTuber. Not even gonna lie. So this part is done now. 
gonna take one last look straight down. And now if I see anything sticking out from the bottom, I will go in and just trim that part up. And now it's pretty much how I want it to be. I trimmed off the majority of my dead split ends, so that's all I care about. But the only way to grow happy, healthy hair is for your hair to be healthy during the entire thing. If you end up with split ends and you don't take care of them, guess what? Your hair ain't gonna grow, love, because it starts at the end. So we'll find that section. Take another ponytail. Actually, no. I can clip this all up now. What am I saying? If it's too thin to clip up, then I'll just put it in a ponytail. But if it's not, then, and it's thick enough to my liking, I'll just clip it up. So this is the last little part of that side of my head. Last little section, I guess you would call it. Can't do words. Take this. Keep it from going into this section of hair. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did before. Like up like this. Pull from the other side though. I don't know why, but the twist always makes me feel better about myself. I'm not sure if that's a professional thing or if that's just me. Either way. Twisting keeps your hair together. And again guys, you don't have to keep readjusting. I don't suggest you do this at home. This is just something I do. But if your hair falls, it's natural. Let it fall. So that means that it doesn't need to be cut. I'm like making this into a hair tutorial. How to cut your hair at home during quarantine. Except, I've still been going out during quarantine because I have to work. Again, just trimming up the little other split ends that I see in my hair. They're sporadic. So that's the focus and the basis of that. I'm going to do the other side and then I will be right back. Because I'm going to do it the same exact way as I did this side. And this side, I wish I would have showed you beforehand, it was a lot less clean. And now the ends are like together perfectly, which is the goal. My ends actually feel moisturized. Alright, I'll be right back guys. So now that my hair is all like this, I mean it nice and easy and simple. I'm gonna decide if I'm going to put it up in a ponytail, which I am going to do because it's super freaking hot now, and then I'll go back in, take it down, and then make sure that it's pretty even with the next section or I will leave it down and use it as a gadget. But right now my hair is like super thick, which is a good thing. It means it's healthy and it's growing. So I'm just gonna put in a little ponytail back here. And I would open my door, but my AC is super loud because it's like still 90 something degrees here in Jersey at night. At least that's what it feels like. And this lamp in my bathroom is super bright. So, when I get closer to the top, I like to take thinner sections. And this I try and do carefully because it's getting closer up to my head. Now I usually have layers in my hair. So I cut in a diagonal line. I go bring this from back to front after I, of course, comb through it and whatnot. Because what that'll do is that'll set you up for layers. There's a little stray hair right there. Turn all this up and then section it. And again, 
usually for the back part, back section of your hair, you want to kind of cut it from the back, but because my hair is short right now, I can't do that. So the best thing to do is to lay it straight and then cut across. Now I gotta take down the side. I'll just show you all I was doing again real quick. It's the same thing as the other side. Real quick, snip at the dead ends. This is my dominant side right here, so. seconds. So I have two doors to get into my apartment. One is the common door, at least that's what they call it here. It lets you into two apartments, me and my neighbors. And it's an old apartment complex, so the door slam is loud, so if that's what you heard in the background, that's all that was. I think my neighbor is leaving and going somewhere. Just want to make sure nobody was actually trying to break into my apartment because I'm still new to all this. Again, I'm going to take my hair back here. I'm going to bring it forward. Make sure that everything is even or as even as possible down below. My hair is thick, mommies. Yeah. Alright, so that's good. Then do this side. Pull it all forward. Make sure that there's no kinks or knots in your hair. It's going to prevent your hair from all coming to the forward and laying straight. And again, see how I'm cutting? For short hair, this is more appropriate if you can't get to a hairstylist. And just taking small parts off. And I usually wear my hair to the front anyway. I don't have any hair in the back, so it's a little bit uneven. It's understandable. So now, right. so now that we're getting closer to the top, sorry for that. I don't always look the cutest when I do this. I'll go ahead and put my hair up in a bun because it's getting to that stage where it's getting juice long enough to be a little annoying. Put the clip on top. And I'm going to leave the rest of my hair down. I'm not going to put it back up in a ponytail because this hair is far enough away from the bottom section to actually make any kind of difference and just going in and snipping. And then, section by section, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can always clip your hair back up. I have a little just for you guys right now. But if you feel comfortable enough to do it without clipping your hair up, it saves some time. Just make sure that you don't cut into your good hair, if you get what I mean hair you've already trimmed because you don't want to trim it any shorter than it already is. And when you twist, you want to try and keep that twist as close to the root as possible. That sounds just like something I say on the regular toe patient. Get your boot as close to the crease as possible. That's the way to describe how I want you positioned on a stretcher. And I can't wait to get a shower. Again, let your hair fall. It's naturally supposed to fall. This is normally how I cut my hair. Just moving fast. Because it's the same thing over and over again, and you'll get faster at it as you move along. I 
always go over a section twice just to make sure because you can miss something on the first time around like I just did because nobody's perfect, everybody's human. split apart sections like this, what I like to do, all former hair technique. When I say former, I still do this, simply trim up, and this is how you normally want to be cutting your hair. Give it some texture, so that way when it grows in, it will grow in appropriately. That section up here. Again, just measuring everything out. Alright. Now that one section is done for, just give it a nice comb. If it comes through smoothly, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, get out all the knots. Be prepared for the next section. Got some knots through the end, so I'll move back in. And I'll do this, which is normally what I do towards the end anyway. Normally you want to do this with a smaller section, you don't want to do it with an entire half of your head, but I do anyway, because I'm so used to doing it. This is called point cutting, the other way is blunt or straight across, Just cutting at a point. My hair feels so much smoother now. That's the relief I was looking for. And I'll clip all that up. I'll focus on the other side. Again, if you feel the need to section, please do. Do what I say, not what I do. Again, lining all this up. I see the split ends right there. here. I know I'm going in at weird angles, but believe me, somehow it all works out in the end. The biggest goal is that I'm happy with my hair right now, even though it's short. Again, you want to try and get it as straight as possible rather than putting on a curl. separate this a little bit more because some of my dead ends are too short for the rest of my hair. Just one little tail. That's why it's always important to take your time with your hair. If you need an extra second, use an extra second. Be right back. So I just finished that other side and I ponytailed my hair back. Now you see how I have this big chunky hair? That's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to separate it just like that. In case I gave you guys a little bit of a scare, actually. I'm going to take it back a little bit further. And I'm going to pin this hair up over here. Now the reason why I do this is so that way I can get through a little bit faster, but I know my sectioning parts and all that good stuff. So. Now what I like to do, again, do as I say, not as I do, have a professional do this, because you're not technically supposed to cut from the front, but, again, my hair always works out in the end for me, so, 
That's why this video is not a tutorial. I know how to cut hair properly, even though I don't have my cosmetology license. I just like to do it this way because it's my hair. But again, the biggest goal, keep it straight all the way down. Because again, by doing this, I don't even have to use my mirror. I can see where my split ends are and I can just go in and cut. Just like that. And now that section is all done. You want to cut your hair generally in the way that it, <coughs> the way that you wear it. Otherwise, it will grow in unevenly and it won't look pretty at all. Let me see. Beautiful sectioning gesture. Again, I'm going from the root, comb it all the way out. Bring it forward, straighten it out because I don't want to cut any of the wrong pieces. Same thing you would do for a trim. Just like that. Nasty, dirty split ends right here. And that section is pretty much done. Except we go back in. And again, the way my hair lays. This is actually how I'm going to cut it this time. Part out because that's not part of this section. It's always okay to go back in and readjust because sometimes when you do it all at once again, you may miss certain spots. So, again, we're all human hair falls, hair slips. That section is done. I'm happy with it. Getting it up and out of the way. I always have about 50 different clips here, by the way. Just so you guys know. The reason why is because just because I section it one way, don't mean that I'm not going to want to do it another way. Section more out. Especially coming to me on disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Alright, just like that, that section is done. Perfect. Alright. Now we move on to the other side. So you can pin this back if you want. I'm just going to tuck it right behind my ear. Go in, section this bad boy off. Again, please make sure to brush your hair. I actually have another section that logs this side of my head.
and my hair keeps sticking to itself again this is from using too much protein in my hair so I'm trying to separate it right now so that I can see what actually needs to be cut alright so again this is all I'm going to do for the rest of my hair I will come back when it is all finished and I'll show you guys because I know this video is getting kind of long alright see you guys in a second Hey guys, so after I took my hair down, I cut it just like I've been cutting my hair, and then I parted my hair actually, and I just took the scissors and I essentially brought back pieces from the front because I, I have layers in my hair, if you can see. So I just brought those pieces forward, I cut along the line, the guideline that was already in my hair. And I basically went from it. If you see these tiny little pieces, it's because before when I went and I layered my hair, I cut my hair too short. And that's still recovering. So for those little pieces, I basically just cut off the split ends, like about legit that much, just to get rid of the uh, broken part of the follicle. And so that way it could be resealed and it would stop splitting. This is basically what my hair looks like as a natural mess right now. So I'm gonna get a shower after I clean all this up, but if you guys wanna see real quick, this is essentially how much hair I lost. Everything. So you see, it's not even a lot, but if I put it together, it goes together in like clumps and stuff. So it looks like a lot more than what I actually took out of my hair right there. But this is how much you want to at least cut off every time, depending on the length and the thickness of your hair, of course. But this is about as much as you should have for cutting off the split ends. So thank you guys very much for watching. As I said, I'm going to clean this mess up and take a shower with my fresh new um, trimmed up hair. And stay tuned for the next video. These will probably be posted tomorrow when I'm not so sleepy and probably at work at my third job. Technically second because I work there more now than anything alongside my full-time job. But stay tuned. Hoping this raggedy mess grows out soon enough because I want to do some exciting new stuff. Along with Corona when Corona's finished of course I'm just growing my hair out until then. And then I'll strip out the black, and I'm going to do something interesting at the hair salon, but I have to find a reputable hair salon for the style I'm going for, because you guys know me, I always gonna be unique. So that's also why I'm leaving my hair alone right now, I'm not trying to damage it anymore, and I want to keep it as healthy as possible. So it's always good to get rid of split ends, and grow your hair out of course, because then it's new fun virgin hair to play with. Stay tuned, keep on rocking with whatever hair you have, questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, like, subscribe, and of course, comment again. I always say that, it's always repetitive. I apologize. See you guys soon. Bye.